Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you a different way of making homemade chocolate cake. I got this from a friend. So what I'm going to do is I have one stick of butter at room temperature. I also have four eggs at room temperature. I preheated my oven to 350. So I'll take my one stick of butter Add that to my mixer along with one cup of white sugar. And I'll cream that together. To this, I'll be adding in the four eggs that I have at room temperature, and I'll be dropping them in one at a time. Last one. I'll turn my mixer up a little bit. To my mixture, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And one can, which is 16 ounces of the chocolate syrup. This cake is really good and chocolatey. So I'll add that in. To this, I'm going to add in one cup of flour. And that's it for this cake. I'll slowly stir in the flour. Mix it well and make sure to scrape down the sides. Once it's all mixed, then I'll pour it into my nine inch baking pan that I sprayed with cooking spray. So now I'll scrape the sides down, making sure it's all mixed good. Look at how nice and chocolatey this batter is. Move everything off to the side. Spray my cake pan.
So I'll place it in my oven or that I have preheated at 350 for an hour. I'll keep checking on it because ovens do vary. So if the middle of it is firm, then it's done. Or you can stick, like I usually stick a toothpick in it. If it comes out clean, your cake is done. For my ganache frosting for my homemade chocolate cake, I have one cup of the semi-morsels that I'll be melting, along with a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. to one teaspoon of instant coffee. You can smell the coffee. It smells good. Oh yeah, nice and chocolatey. I'll turn my burner off. Once it was all melted together, this is what it looks like. This is my ganache frosting. So as soon as my cake comes out of the oven, then I'll be placing this on top. Now that my cake has cooled, I have my chocolate ganache. And I'm going to be putting that on top of my cake. I'll spread it around the sides. Oh yeah, this is going to look really good. Can't wait to try this frosting. Doesn't that look nice? Oh yeah. Look at how nice and shiny that frosting looks. I can't wait to dig into this. Now I'm going to dig into this. I'll take a little piece. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. This is so good and so chocolatey. Mm-mm. Deserves a second bite. Mm. I love chocolate. Mm-mm-mm. You really got to try this. I'm so glad my friend gave me this recipe because it is really, really good. And I love this ganache frosting. Goes good with the chocolate cake. And thanks so much for watching me make this chocolate cake. 
I'm so glad my friend gave me the recipe because it's super duper delicious in this ganache frosting. Oh my God, it's to die for. So please follow me on Facebook under Cheryl's Home Cooking on, and on Twitter, Home Cooking with C. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye. I'm going to finish this cake. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, yeah.